up on Valentine's Day, she's gonna face me on Pat TV, face to face. Kayla. Hey, Coach. face-to-face interview. Uh, Kayla, the first part, the first part of your working out, like why, you know, I noticed that you, um, you came back and you came back a little early. Um, why did you start training? Why did you start the training camp? Well, early? I started early because I knew my competition were taking a break and I felt like for me to get to that next level, I needed to not take a long break to just get it now, to go in there and do the work that I know no one else is doing. They're just enjoying the season they just had, where I'm just like, no, I'm not, I don't want to settle here. I want to keep going because I know I have more in me. I just got to work for it. Okay, Kayla, um, this year, you know, you made some sacrifices this year. You, you gave up basketball, which is a sport that, that you love, and you played it for as long as you can remember. Why did you make the decision? <laughs> basketball because, well, I knew for me to attain my goals that I had to track, I said for myself, um, I would have to give that up. It was going to hinder me from achieving those goals. And basketball, it doesn't incite that passion I have for track. I, I enjoy the sport. I love the sport. Respect it a lot. But it just doesn't incite that passion. I don't have that mindset to attack it and go to work like I do for track. It was just something that kept me in shape for track, kept my endurance up, my stamina up. Um, it was just a hobby. I, I was good at it, and I mean, I'm not gonna miss it. You know, I know I'm doing the right thing for myself. Okay. It's, uh, it's Christmas break, okay? It's Christmas break, uh, it's a Friday night. Uh, you're a teenager, you can be doing a lot more things. Why do you choose to stay here and train? Christmas break, there's no school, but you're here in the gym. What is motivating you to stay in this gym? Well, I'm in this gym because I want to be here. I don't want to be anywhere else. Um, I enjoy training. I don't see it as something I have to do and it's not what I want to do. I want to be in here. I like being in here because I know I'm getting stronger. And I know that most of my competition, they're probably not in the gym working out. More than likely at home, relaxing, eating food, you know, enjoying themselves. But they're not working. So that, that's what motivates me. I'm working and they're not. I'm getting stronger and they're not. I mean, honestly, this, this seems like the best place to be right now. I mean, I don't have no work to do, school's out. I can just be in here. This is what I love to do. Okay, Kayla, um, I've got a photograph with you uh, and Mahogany Baker and another athlete that you competed against quite regularly and what I'm going to do I'm going to make the photograph a little bit bigger and what I want to see is I actually want to get your thoughts when I show you this picture okay pretty pissed and irritated um, this is something I wish I could just completely erase from existence um, I'm not proud of that moment um, that was a moment where I felt like I could have took it all and I didn't, I didn't grasp the moment, um, the opportunity. What won it, it's quite pitiful, honestly. Um, and that's just something that burns me. That's one of the things that fuels me today. When I'm in here working, when I'm outside and it's cold, you know, temperatures dropping, you know, that I still, I still remember this. I remember a lot, but this is, one of those moments that I just remember vid vividly and I know it's something that I don't want to happen again. It's something that, it's actually, that was a character building moment. That was a catalyst of me where I'm at today. You know, Kayla, when I saw you looking at this video, when I saw you looking at these, these, this photograph, um, it had you in third place, and it had Mahogany Baker in second place, and then it had another athlete that you compete against all the time in the first place. I could see, like, the, uh, the almost anger, like, <laughs> just the straight-up blatant anger in your face when you saw that photograph. I mean, I saw it. So, 
I want to mention a couple of names. We're going to talk about the it factor. We're going to talk about it. Um, Cameron Hayes, Aislinn Halverson, J.A. Emerson. These people were mentioned in an article called The It Factor, and they didn't mention your name in that article. Where does Kayla Dawson see herself with that line of company? Because that's a tall group of athletes that just did well in the state of Carolina. Where does Kayla see herself? I can see myself being in the same conversation with those guys. Um, I feel that I actually have the It Factor right now. I feel like I can perform in a manner that sets me with those guys. Um, they're obviously legend tool of North Carolina. Um, the best, best field athletes North Carolina has ever seen. Um, I look up to Cameron the most because what she did is just, is just phenomenal. And I wanna, I wanna be like her. I wanna be better than her. I mean, that's just me. Um, I'm very competitive. That's someone I looked up to, especially as a young, as a young child. I've always had a good work ethic, and I, you know, each year I've been thinking, what can I do better? What can I do more? And that, that's something that I think can happen. I believe. I don't even think I believe that can happen. All right, Kayla, I got a video of you doing final six at a practice, and you're just taking stand throws. Okay. When you see yourself performing at this at this level, like when you see yourself in this particular video right here, okay, and you know we've been we've been training really hard during the season. What is going through your mind as you take this throw right here, just from the stand throw? Okay. I mean, you down low. Wow. He had some good power on that throw. So what's going through your mind? Um, actually, I actually like this uh, practice. One of my favorite practices so far of the year. Um, I just see something, and where I'm, where I'm just in the circle, like the aura I had that I didn't have last year. I didn't. I just didn't have that. That mm, like that. I'm, I'm very proud of that moment. Especially where I threw it. That, that was about 42 from the stand, by the way. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I like practices like these, I want to see more in the future. Because I'm having fun. Um, I'm just in my zone. I'm comfortable. I mean, this is what I do. I want to listen to you hold court like that. The confidence. You know, many people would think that's, that she just being cocky or arrogant. But to listen to you kind of just hold court and just say that, hey, those marks are not good enough for you. You can go there and do what it's standing for. I mean, when you face these girls at this state meet, because they're going to be there. I mean, in your mind, play out the outcome. In my head, uh, states February 14th. First place, I see myself throwing a PR 48, 49, not taking anything less, uh, bust my behind. Um, that, those are the numbers I want to see coming to fruition. Uh, second and below, I see 42, and that's just me being, gen being generous. Uh, 40, 40, <laughs> just 40 flat, <laughs> maybe some change, but um, 39. Go, go, go. But, uh, I saw some 39. I can I can see a I can see a a 36. That's just that's just rock bottom right there. But, uh, yeah, that's what I see. I see uh, I see those numbers. They do better hey but uh, nothing over that 42. <laughs> that's the that's that's a miracle.